for today I'm doing a very short video on how to do an aerial photo using the FIMI and using the in flight intelligent mode for waypoint uh, two things few things we need to address which I think most of us already know uh, you have to fly the drone before you can actually specify the waypoint uh, the other thing is that uh, top down uh, FIMI the drone do not allow you to place it at 90 degree angle it always have to be about 84 to 87 uh, degrees so that you have to take into account I'm also not going to do uh, photos uh, because it's, it's a little bit difficult although you can actually specify the labs uh, most of the app nowadays processing app allow you to actually take video and thereafter uh, you will process the photos from the video itself okay I'm gonna take off now and uh, create the waypoint uh, that I want When you do this type of waypoint and trying to do an aerial photo, uh, let's say at a height of uh, 50 meters like I did just now, you have to ensure that uh, there is an overlapping of at least 30 to 50 percent. And here the gimbal has adjusted itself at 84.3 uh, degrees instead of 90 uh, because FIMI does not allow you to go. Uh, you can put it at 90 but uh, it will readjust itself uh, to about uh, 80, 84 to 87 percent uh, I think I got the overlapping right this time uh, but uh, like I said uh, anybody who wants to do this uh, one battery is never enough uh, unless FIMI allows uh, the waypoint uh, to be done uh, without the quad being in the air the software that I'm going to use after this 
will be either ICE, uh, ICE is a free software by Microsoft, or I'm going to use my IGSoft. I prefer video uh, rather than photo uh, for this, for the filming because uh, with photos, uh, although you have a lapse of uh, two seconds, it so it also depends on the, how fast you are flying uh, the drone. Whereas with video, you wouldn't have uh, any issues. Uh, you can go even at 10 meters per second, and uh, you will be fine.